Mexican corporation, which currently owns and operates Hotel Nico Guam, Hyatt Regency, Pacific Islands Club, Hilton Guam Resort, and Sheraton Laguna Resort, will be adding another hotel to their list, the Subaki Tower. PNC's Rizal Romanis has more in this report. A new luxury hotel will open its doors in 2019. Ken Corporation Group broke ground this morning on what will be their sixth hotel on island, the Tubaki Tower. Located next to Nika Hotel, the tower will overlook Tumon Bay. This hotel is a really, really high-class hotel. I believe it's more than five-star hotel. Five-star. So, of course, it's a, Guam is a very nice uh, luxury hotel. Uh, our new construction, new project is a really, really number one five-star hotel Asia Pacific area. The new hotel will have 340 guest rooms, a fine dining restaurant, a bar, a pool, a banquet hall with capacity of 600 guests, and an amphitheater. And the other feature in this hotel that's none of the hotels that uh, in Guam has is the amphitheater. Um, so a lot of the uh, buildings they normally have outside the initial arena with the tent and etc. But this particular will be an open air amphitheater with uh, 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 seatings that would come down to the theater uh, the yard so we can have different type of function can be possible. Ken Corp Micronesia Managing Director Milton Morinaga explains that since the Tsubaki Tower is in between two hotels, their space was limited. So they had to be creative with the design. The tower will have a unique fan shape. Like when you open a fan, so that way basically from inside out you're expanding, right? That means what does it conclude? A bigger balcony. So people get to spend a lot of time to the beach. By the same thing, they want to spend more time in a room, too. With all the features this hotel will include, Morinaga says they wish to attract more meeting, incentive, conference, event, or mice business. According to Ken Corporation President Shigeru Sato, although Japanese visitors to the island is on a decline, he believes the number of tourists will pick up again in the coming years. In fact, he says Guam is an ideal destination because it's a quick getaway. Guam is a uh, South Asia Pacific area. It's one of the key islands. So I believe this island will be come to tourist, tourist is a two million next to 10 years. Even Governor Eddie Calvo pointed out during the ceremony that the future looks bright for tourism. Uh, most recently, I've been talking to our GDB people. Uh, last year, we had 10% growth in tourism. Right now, the first few months of the year, we're 10% above last year. So, you know, in all likelihood, if we can keep this momentum, we're going to have about 1.5 million tourists uh, for this upcoming fiscal year, again, with more hotel rooms uh, being built. The construction of the new Tsubaki Tower will cost about $150 million and is expected to be completed by October 2018. The grand opening for the hotel is set for 2019. Rosal Romanes, PNC News. Ken Corporation President Shigeru Sato said because he loves Guam so much, part of their plan is to bring a little of the island back to Japan by building a Pacific Islands Club hotel in Okinawa.